All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on for our next deck, which is going to be Grixis Legends. Uh, this is a real fun deck to play where basically we have a deck built, uh, a Grixis deck built around Yogmoss Vile Offering. This card is incredibly good. It's uh, a lot of people have played like the Eldest Reborn, right? And you know, like how the third chapter of the Eldest Reborn, you get like that uh, cre any creature or planeswalker from a graveyard either graveyard, put it into play. That's what Yawgmoth's Vile Offering does, but it also uh, destroys a creature or Planeswalker as well. So it's just a really strong card, and so this is what our deck is basically built around. In order to cast Yawgmoth's Vile Offering, we have to have a legendary creature or Planeswalker on the battlefield. So we have an assortment of legendary creatures and Planeswalkers that can be on the battlefield for it. Um... Uh, of course, most notably are dragons with Nicol Bolas and Niv-Mizzet, and we have the Sarkins to be able to add mana for those, um, to be able to get those out earlier as well. Um, of course, if we're casting Yawgmoth's Vile Offering, we do want a legendary, or sorry, we do want just any creature or planeswalker in the graveyard, right? We, like, we want to get like some, some kind of sweet creature or planeswalker out of a graveyard, um, and so... Sarkin helps with that, the looting ability. Like, we can loot away Niv-Mizzet and then put Niv-Mizzet into play, for example. Um, we have Charter Course also that gets to, to loot. Uh, kind of, we get to to put stuff in the graveyard with that as well. And, of course, Ascanta can, can find things there. So, uh, this is what we got. Grixis Legends. Uh, this is going to be our first time playing this since Ravnica Allegiance came out. We had some good times playing it before that. Um, the biggest upgrade to the deck is having blood crypt um the mana base was kind of rough before trying to get niv miss it uh with all the red and black needed so blood crypt's a big addition here um so yeah let's give it a try grixis legends I did update the decklist command, didn't I? No, I didn't put the deck on Stream Decker, did I? Ah, good. I still had the copy paste. Ready to go. Burly man! All right, last year before I go watch some uh, TV with the wife. Happy birthday, man! Keep up the great content. Oh my gosh, you are you are so amazing, Burly man. Thank you so much, everybody. Get some hype in the chat for Burly Man. Do it. Get your favorite emote in there. You don't have to be sub to me. Everybody has emotes. Hit the emote button. Throw out whichever ones you like. Burly Man, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Got the Grixis Legends deck up on Stream Decker here. All right, Deckless Command has been updated. All right, we need our opponent to play a, a creature or a planeswalker. I advise and then we get Divmizzet into play. That, no, we got disconnected. Reconnect. Come on, Arena, you can do it. Thanks, TG Chaos. Our actions determine the course of history. 
Uh, Ram? Nice. Do I want to put Bolas or Niv Mizzet? Alright, well, I'll, I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that and I'll go get. Um, here, let's tick up. Are you certain of your decision? Oh, it's a land. <laughs> uh, Dex at the sub for Hawkeye. Thanks, Dex. For six months there. Alright, Vile Offering. Put Niv Mizzet into play and kill the Ram. See? That card is good. That card's good. That's why we're playing a Vile Offering deck. It's pretty good. Yeah, we're so we're doing a 12-hour stream on Thursday also. Because um, we did get to the 12-hour the stream goal earlier. We're already on the way to the next one. So 12-hour stream on Thursday. <laughs> Poor opponent. All right, let's go get the Thought Erasure. This will aid us. Take the mass manipulation. Hey, Russ is getting in there. Welcome to Valley Town, Russ. Welcome aboard the hype boat. Thank you so much. So yeah, another 12 hour on Thursday, the 21st. Sub number 57 on the day. Oh no, 58. I was one behind. And it says 44 now. Um, I may not, we'll see, I may not be streaming on the 20th. I, I have my tax appointment. Um, I'm going to be doing, doing my taxes and everything on the 20th. Uh, we'll, we'll see, uh, if I'm able, if I'm streaming or not, I may not be. Um, go take out coil, bring in thief. Take out Squee, Judith. Increased volume. Getting that Twitch Prime sub in as well. Thanks, increased volume. I'm not sure what the last card I want to take out is, honestly. I'm going to trim one chart, of course. You know, that's probably not right. Things increase volume. So that's sub number 59. That means it's going to be pack time with one more subscriber. Yeah, I could see taking out one vial offering. I could see that. The thing is, I took out all the lava coils. So I'm worried about not having enough removal. Alright, I definitely need to counter guild summit. All right, I'm getting the Naya, Naya monsters right now up on YouTube. Hmm. This isn't looking good.
All right, we gotta hit the land drop for Angrath here. Um, Angrath can steal the ram. Thanks, Zach the Ripper. That's any non-creature spell, right? Cinder Vines is gonna kill Ever us seen pretty quickly. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Uh, all good, Feldman. Yep, keep supporting the stream here. Recommend it to your friends. I'm glad you're always here in the chat. All right, Cinder Vines. Banefire. That ram just really got us. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I could have coil for ram, but... Um... But there's just a, a chance, you know, like, later on in the game, like, basically, coil's only good against ram early. Later on in the game, the ram's just much bigger. Um... Don't like. There we go. Never mind. Never mind. I like. We have turn four Niv Mizzet. So we'll play Sarka next turn, and then we can have Niv Mizzet. The dragon whispers of your- I don't need this. I need this. Thanks, Hairless Bear. Um, I can't vile offering that yet. Come to me. Red, red. Blue, blue, blue. Carter, being sub number 60. Thank you so much, Carter. Welcome to the stream. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. That's right, we have 22 emotes now. Six of them are new uh, just from three days ago. And forty three. Thanks, Radical Guru. Yeah, the day's been day's been really good, Mass. Um, you know, it's just it's been a great birthday stream, having um, a really Don't good time and everything. Doubt my methods. All right, so Lazav can turn into Niv Mizzet next turn, even if they don't give us anything to. to vile offering. I'm gonna play as Kanta, but I should probably hold up Negate. All right, Naya Monsters is almost done for YouTube. All right, so we're gonna be cracking open a pack after this. It's gonna be pack time. Uh, thanks, Carter. Thank you kindly. So, let's do a poll. Y'all can vote for what pack you want me to crack. So, are we going to... So, you can either say M19, Dominaria, DOM, 
Rivals of Ixalan, R-I-X or Ixalan, which is X-L-N. So there you go. Poll started, 60 seconds. We'll vote for whichever one of those. All right, so let's turn Lazav into niv -Mizzet. And then let's loot away Bolus the... told me I should do this. One of these Azkantas. Um, I don't know why you're seeing double emotes. I know I every everybody's seeing that as far as I know. No, I don't know why that is. This looks like you have even more. Yeah, so they're keeping the Sarkin no from being pain. able to ultimate. See, and y'all were saying the Lazav was bad. Does this look like a bad Lazav to you? Lazav the Multifarious? That looks like a pretty good Lazav to me. Yes. Y'all are like, why are you playing Lazav? It's bad. Perfect. Nah. Lazav good. Yeah, Judith has low synergy. That's true. We used to play, I mean, we used to have the, I used to have two copies of the blue-black legend from Dominaria, like a, the uncommon legend in here in the three mana slots, and Judith is a, is a big upgrade there. Judith's just kind of, it's just kind of there. It just blocks. Maybe having two Judiths in play, because Elizabeth can do something. Oh, pack time. Cancel, cancel. Let me cancel. Tilt. Oh man, and now it's gonna be all laggy. So we're just getting really punished where we need like a, a reset also. All right, so Dominaria is gonna be our pack after this. Um, okay, I need to make a, need to make a Naya. Double Curious Obsession, double Spell Pierce? Are you kidding me? How do you even have this hand? What the hell is this? Are you kidding? Like what is even in what is this? Is there a better possible hand for mono blue?
Please don't have a counter spell besides these spell pierces. Please don't counter Medical Bolas. Don't do it, don't do it. All right. I guess we're kind of still in it. Uh, maybe we're not in it. Maybe we're not in it. We were in it for a minute. Yeah, Mono Blue is basically the new Mono Red. Yeah. I crafted most of your Nia Legends deck yesterday and had a blast. I was just wondering why you used 26 lands. Um, because with that deck, you really need to, to hit your 4th and 5th land drop. And so playing 25, you don't always hit your 5th land drop. You, you, you got to with that deck. Um, and playing, playing more lands isn't necessarily a bad thing either. You have a lot of mana sinks. We have a third Curious Obsession? Lazav is a really good draw. Nope. We need to draw a land. If we draw a land, then we can have Lazav uh, copy the Niv Mizzet. have another trickster even after all of this we like kind of have a chance but other trickster make means not a chance anymore Close game. Yeah, that opening hand of two mana, two mana Terramander, uh, double spell pierce, double curious obsession, and Jin. I guess that was their eight cards. There's, so that was their seven plus their draw step. Pretty busted. All right, let's see what we're doing here. So, Moment, Cry, Ritual, Melody, Thief of Sanity, Hostage Taker, 
negates. Like, do I just bring? I think I maybe maybe just bring in all fifteen. Just bring in the old fifteen. Yeah, it was an anti duressable hand. Hmm. What about Melody? Yeah, this deck's this deck's really fun. Here you go. Uh there's the there's the deck list right here. Melody and Hostage Taker. I don't know. Is, is Melody good against Mono Blue? Does anybody have any experience with Melody here? I'm going to cut the Melody and cut a Hostage Taker. Even though I, I kind of like both of those. This is a matchup I was worried about. Wait, aren't, aren't we one to know right now? I have it listed as zero zero over here. Aren't we one to know? Didn't we defeat some random deck last round? Oh yeah, we defeated Gates. That's right. Hmm. That's right. Yeah, it would be nice on Stream Decker to put to be able to put the win loss record on Stream Decker, but there's just not a that's not an option, unfortunately. But I've I've thought about that too. That'd be nice to be able to put that on there. I'm using Cry the Carnarium over Lava Coil because they can play creatures that you know Cry doesn't necessarily kill uh, later on. All right, I'm either discarding coil or moment. I guess I could discard bolus and make their es essence capture not really do anything. I'm keeping the lands to go with Niv Mizzet. Niv's Niv's our plan. Niv's like our best card here. Um. Keep coil because coil kills Tempest Gen. I'll keep Nickel Bolas. Even though we could maybe blank the Essence Captor by not keeping it. Yeah, I kind of wish I had Moment of Craving now. Yeah, I probably should have just discarded Nickel Bolas. I just like the card so much, but that's probably a you know, something I need to let go.
No, I have not played any mono blue decks. I played one. We had a donation deck for mono blue right before Ravnica <laughs> Legions came out. And played that and went 5 0. Alright, come on land. It can be any land in the deck. Um Yeah, any land in the deck. Cast Nev Mizzet. Yep, no curious is a good sign. Like they have retort and something else, and we got retort covered. Right, I guess we're throwing out a bolus into the retort. This Terramander is just going to be bigger than Niv Mizzet. Well, they didn't just spend the, mon the mana, sorry. They just didn't spend the mana on Terramander a little bit ago. Definitely got punished for not for being greedy and not and discarding moment instead of Nicol Bolas. I think our, our life would have been better if I would have just discarded Nicol Bolas. I think if we lose this, it's going to be because of that. Oh, it can't adapt because it already has a counter. Oh, oh. 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 Nice. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that. Forgot about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Radical Guru. So y'all think I should play this melody? Melody and Hostage Taker are like the next two. Maybe I don't need Sarkin. Yeah, what if I play Melody, Hostage Taker, and just don't play Sarkin? I think I can probably still get to six mana for Niv-Mizzet. With all this interaction we have. Yeah, let's do that. Let's not play Sarkin. You think Angrath's better than Melody? Well, <laughs> Squee does come out in this matchup. Squee does come out in a lot of matchups. This is one. Naya Monsters was a deck that was all creatures uh, with Zakama at the top end. Um, I, what? I love Squee. Most other people wouldn't make decks with Squee in them. Do you see... Come on, go find some other streamer playing Squee. Probably none. I'm playing Squee. Because I like Squee. It's just not necessarily... Um, you know, the best in every matchup. Yeah, it's my birthday today. Did 
Dun, 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 dun. No curious obsession, please. Please, no curious obsession. I've <laughs> searched far and wide, no other squeeze dreamers. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what you got going on over there? Counter magic? Counter magic? Hey, previously doing good. Um, 33 feels a whole lot better than 32. Today's been an awesome day. I guess I should start making the Grixis banner. Dun, 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 dun. Nice, you got your four Galtas. Way to go, Carter. And 20 gems with it. Wait, if you keep playing the Selesnya Singleton after you win your Galtas, do you just get gems? Like, if you keep winning more Galtas, do you just start winning gems? Is that a, is that a thing? Yeah, 20 gems a pop? Wow, so you could just keep on doing that and just farm gems out of the Singleton event for, for free, for no risk. No, it's not very practical. It's very slow. You are not winning much, but some, some people don't want to spend any money. Oh, uh, the singleton's over now. That is true. Getting five wins is kind of a pain. It's only 20 gems. I guess I guess y'all are right. Hmm. I guess... So I was thinking that it was maybe better to have the hostage taker counter the nickel bolus, but now looking back at that, I regret my decision, and I, I think that playing nickel bolus on turn four would have been better. Where I steal, where I steal the terramander, I regret, I regret my decision. Chucky Masterson, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that sub. Really do appreciate that. So sub number 61 and 42. Ah, oh, thanks, Chucky. Lifer, gifting out some subs. Gifting out 10 subs. Trishula, Dark Luce, Rudy, Rail, uh, Teodebs, Lascarian, Gris, ZZZ Point, Deki Rar, and Sebasaurus. So many packs. Thanks, Santa Lifer. 
Alright, let's start with Charter Course. Alright, so that gets us up to 71 on the day. So two more packs to get after this. Oh, we have the Dominaria pack to still go open, and then two more. Uh, you can do either one. You can either choose or their or um, or random. You like you can choose random or or choose. So close. If Cry of the Carnarium was Ritual of Set. So what we learned here is Cry of the Carnarium is terrible. Um, but I, I chose the wrong creature to play on turn four. I messed that up. I played Hostage Taker first instead of Bolas first. Thanks, Sly. Terramanders are really good. That was a card whenever I saw during the previews. I was like, uh, I don't, I'm not so sure about this card. This card's going to kill me all the time. And yep, Terramander kills me all the time. All right, so we are getting a pack of Dominaria. We had that one voted on. Then let's get a Rivals pack. And an M19 pack as well. No, not really, NASCAR. Um, traveling is traveling is a big hassle and everything, and stressful, and yeah. Yeah, Machu. So every. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's uh, crack open the Dominaria pack first. That was our one. Lich's Mastery. That's cool. So um, the thirty-two is updated correctly for the next twelve hour. We are doing a twelve-hour stream on um, on Thursday. We're doing a twelve-hour stream. now uh, from from the first 50 basically <laughs> and now we're working our way towards the next one at, at 32 we unlock another emote um, open the graves it's a card that a lot of people ask if we should be playing in certain decks Yeah, uh, do I review viewers' brewings? Yeah, I do like deck techs uh, where I talk about um, decks and everything like that. And Sphinx's Decree. What? Oh my gosh. Man, what a birthday. Y'all are so amazing. Sly? Oh, man. Sly said, here we go. The 32 subs. Sly, thank you so much. So many, so many people gifting subs today. Lifer, Sly, um, Curly Man earlier with the big cheers and gifting out a lot of subs, subs also. Yeah, I guess we're going to need some more packs, huh? Yeah, I should have birthdays more often. <laughs> um, 
What does that bring us up to? 103? All right, so that resets our counter to 50. All right, so that means we have a new emote. We have a new emote opening. We have, we have to think about a new emote now. Um, I get to, I can go commission another emote now. Radical Guru is the sub now. Yeah, we're going to have to get some packs with gems. All right, six more packs. <laughs> that could get you a lot of saw requests, Lie. All of them should send me a playlist. Um, all right, let's get three rivals, three rivals, three M19s. New emote, me with a birthday hat. Um, I guess the only, the only other emote idea I had of, like, maybe having it would be, like, Hawkeye with, in a tie. A cat boat emote? Ooh. Right, let's get the M19 ones first. <laughs> Sideboarding out Squee emote. Palladium Ores, got a Mythic. Mythics are always the best things to open. That's, that's, uh, that's, those are always the best things to open. And Sickled Sword of Valoron. All right, so we got a Mythic. That's definitely a good open. All right, Rivals. If it's not Mythic, we want um, Storm the Vault. So I can make a Storm the Vault deck. Storm the Vault! Woo! Thanks, Moby. We should add Palladia in our Naya Monsters deck. And Rare Wild Card. Perfect. And a Mythic Rare Wild Card. Those are like the three best Rivals of Ixalan packs ever. Just Storm the Vault, Rare, Mythic. Uh, rare Wild Card, Mythic Rare Wild Card. So we've opened three Storm the Vaults now. Only need one more. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now you you don't get any duplicates now. Um, it, it makes opening these packs you we get through the sets so much faster now. You don't open up any uh, duplicates. <laughs> that was pre-recorded. You got a blooper. So all of the the thirty two people that just got uh, subs to the channel. I hope you enjoy the subs. I hope you use the emotes. Remember, whenever we get, uh, whenever we do get new subs in the channel, it's where you throw your hype boats in. Uh, th thanks, Jelly. And one more time, thank you so much, Santa Sly. You're so so very kind. Thank you so much. It's because Hawkeye will just walk in front of the camera and he'll be like have his head towards me, like wanting me to pet him, and so he has his butt towards the camera. So we have the uh, cat buddy moat. All right, one and one. Back to Grixis Legends. Oh, I should do the reset. Please let me cancel. That's nah, not gonna let me cancel. Oh, that's an amazing birthday. Yeah, we got the party hat on. Okay, so yeah, we have we have a 12-hour stream now set up for Thursday. 
All right, can I? I think I can Alt F4 and then come back to this, I think. Whoops. I meant to Alt F4 over here. I just Alt F4 out of my... Out of my internet browser. All right, I have to go find the chat again. All right, back to the chat. Thanks, Minasaur. So if you said something beside before when I was looking and then Minasaur. Yeah, still the notifications from the donation. We got 30 of them to do. I can check. Okay, we had two we had two new subs. Um also after that, Mike Baracco and Ty Cope. And Nelson with the twenty dollar donation. The happy birthday donation. And the, and then uh Jelly with the hundred bits as well. So that gets us to 105 on the day. All right, so it's going to be pack time yet again here in a little bit, and we're 48 towards the next one. Um, I guess I need a shock. Hey, okay, okay. <clears throat> Okay. Um, I'm not sure classic cola taste. Uh, no plans right now to get back in towards like uh, competitive paper magic. told me I should do this. Maybe our opponent is like really distracted by the Sarkin and the Sarkin can gain us some good amount of life. Yep, well, we're going to have Marty Angels up next. Yep. That'll be good. Ugh. Looks like we may need to go sideboarding. Nickel Bolas. I have failed you. Yeah, you have. Huh? All right, I need to get Stream Decker back up. Oh, was I uploading a YouTube video when I just closed that out? I hope not. I think I finished out all the videos before this. Yeah, Nine Monsters is already up. Yeah, we're good. All right, gotcha, Sly. I'll get that on next. Right, Dirk, that was really cool. Sarkin apologized to Bolas for failing him, and then Sarkin comes out with a roar. That was really cool. Lots of lands.
All right, melody, craving, soot, soot, and a bunch of negates. Yeah, admittedly, this is not a good, not a good matchup for us. I don't think thieves are very good blockers. No, I can't cut Niv. Niv is like... Niv's a card that can end the game quickly for me. And I, I need all the cards that can end the game quickly for me. So I, I certainly need it, Niv. Because um, it's kind of like the only way that we can win. It sure seems like we're playing Mono Shockland, isn't it? We aren't, but it, it seems like it. Alright, so Lazav blocks this Viachino Pyromancer pretty well. Um, I think I want to have Moment of Craving for the Pyromancer, though, here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pass the turn. Um, because I'm kind of assuming that they're gonna bolt the Lazav and then all Moment of Craving it. The Pyromancer, if they do. They're, the reason why I'm not just casting Moment of Craving immediately, even though, like, this helps them with Wizard's Lightning is because uh, there is a chance that they don't bolt the Lazav and just play a Runaway Steamkin. And then I want to be able to have the Moment of Craving for the Runaway Steamkin um, instead, in, in case that, that's what would, would have happened there. So, you know, we have Negate for, for Experimental Frenzy, which, of course, we got to cast it there. It's it's a very obvious Negate on our part. Um, so we're going to have to keep up with the two, two blue mana basically always. 
I'm glad they just ran into it anyway. Nice. Yeah. Even though... Yeah, even though Nia Legends drained a lot of your wild cards, I'm... I'm glad you... Glad you like it. Glad it's worth it. Well, we had a lot of lands on top. That's five lands in a row. Alright, so Ritual of Six, Cry of the Carnarium. Either of those. Basically anything. Oh, another land. Another land. That's... Yeah. That is... That's... That's a flood. Hey, Yud. Glad to have you back on. Ritual of Soot. Come on, deck. You gave us all these lands. You can give us a Ritual of Soot. Make up for it. Nope, a Thought Erasure. lands for my birthday, right? What was I thinking? Could ask for anything. And I just went with lands. All right, quick league there with the one-two. I think I want to run this one back. I like this deck, and we just had some really, really poor draws there. Um, but like mono red is like our, our matchup that I'm not not really trying to win too much. Anyway, yeah, getting that. Sub in. Thank you so much, Yud. Sub number 106 on the day. Thanks for resubbing for the third month. Saying happy birthday, good sir. May the flood leave you. Keep on the good content. Hey, Night Owl! Getting that big time cheer. Thanks, Night Owl. Where's my foil cheers emote? There we go. Night Owl, thank you so much. So chart, of course, um, is just it's pretty efficient of drawing two and you know draw two and then discard. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty efficient of like seeing two more cards for two mana, even though you have to discard one of them unless you attack. Um, but putting stuff in the graveyard is good for Vile Offering. We did that earlier of, like, discarding um, a Niv-Mizzet earlier, and then we got to put it back into play on turn 5 whenever we cast a Vile Offering and got to put Niv-Mizzet into play um, earlier. Let's try this again. I think second time's the charm. Oh, wait, wait. We got to get a pack. We were one pack. We got to the 105. Um, let's go, rivals. Let's get this storm, this last storm, the vault. Yeah, shock is is a good card in this format. Um, I could dead man's chest. I could see playing shocks instead of instead of moment of cravings, honestly, in the sideboard. I have that one moment of craving. I could get a shock instead. The cry of the carnariums were kind of rough. Let's get. Let's get third ritual of soot. 
over a second cry, and maybe like two shocks. Let's do that. Danto Vanguard's not really that. Doesn't have that big of a presence. Let's do this. Alright, let me update the deck list on Stream Decker. Um, edit. So, sideboard. We're going with a third ritual of set. Did not really like the cry of the Carnariums. And then two. Um, I guess. Is Shivan Fire better than Shock? I guess Shivan Fire is better. Because Shivan Fire can kill. Um... Okay, update the deck list. Uh, you know, it can kill um, Tempest Gin, where Shock just can't. Awesome, Guru. Did we get the pack? Yeah, we got a dead man's chest. Alright, Grixis Legends. No, I don't, I don't do very much ranked. Ugh, don't do, don't do too much ranked. Thanks for tracked. Hmm. I think we can find a fourth land. All right, so Grixis Legends, you're not one and two anymore. Back to O and O. Restart. Yep, best of three ranked is available. They could have, so they could sack the, the Siren Storm Tamer there to counter that if they wanted to. Do you believe in the 5 0 Grixis Legends? I do. I think we can 5 0. Never mind. Can't 5 0 anymore. I believed in it a little bit ago. to draw three here because they can just now chart a course Ugh. yep thoughts he's bug never never fails So we're bringing in all 15 again. But I, I like our, our 15 that we have more, uh, that we have here more. Um, I like Ritual of Soot a whole lot more than uh, Cry the Carnarium in this matchup. And we have the Shivan Fires also. So I think we're going to be doing a little better with this 15. 
And as you saw, that, that game, we just had a bunch of Sarkins and Karns and Yawgmoth file offerings, so cutting all those. Gator Frank. Let's get some hype in the chat for a new sub. Thank you so much for that support, Gator Frank. Glad to have you here. One oh seven and forty seven. Yeah, we are definitely in striking range. I think my record for subs in a day was one twenty three. Um on like a, a Christmas, like twenty seventeen Christmas. Um what else we're taking out? We're taking out Judith Squee. And a search. And then second search or a chart of course. Let's go one chart of course. I'll keep one search. Um, we got about three hours, fifteen minutes left. For two hours. Two hours, fifteen minutes. But we got two decks. We'll finish out this league with Grixis Legends and then play Mardu Angels. We got two decks left. We don't have any oozes today. Let's try Thought Erasure again. Didn't work last time. Session, dive down, gin, try to course opt. That's when I remember the things I miss the most. So, my plan next turn is to play Nicol Bolas. Um, Unless, unless they just slam Tempest Gin next turn. If they slam Tempest Gin, then I'm playing Ritual of Sud, but I don't expect them to do that. So I'll be playing Nicol Bolas next turn. Alright, give a little hug. Have a good night. Keeping the Thieves Andy may be a little um, greedy. I am hoping this Ritual of Sir, like, I'm kind of thinking maybe my opponent plays Tempest Gin and holds up Dive Down, and then I Ritual of Sit away their things, and then I have Thieves Andy after that. Because with me playing Nicol Bolas here, it's likely that they play Tempest Gin. But if they okay, they don't have the extra mana, so they're just not not going to play without having the extra mana. Hmm. Um, if you have the Planeswalker activation on the stack and then they trickster it, I think it still gets exiled on anything because that, that ability is still on the stack, so the ability still resolves. All right. 
now we can kind of expect a Tempest Gen. Want this Tempest Gen out of their hand. Um, we'll see if Dave streams consistently. Um, I'm not not exactly sure, honestly. Yeah, he's a, he's a great dude. Um, yeah, he's a real good dude. All right, we force their hand. I will take this trade. Thief Sandy, sorry, you're out of here. Uh, Dave is is my friend who I, I hosted yesterday, uh, Boot to the Head. Um, you know, he's been streaming for a while. He's been streaming for a couple of years, but uh, with how he moves around and everything, he hasn't been streaming super consistent, consistently recently, but hopefully he does now. Um, like he did. Hmm. All right, untap land, please. Uh, no, Darth, I don't. So let's see. Let's go ahead and attack with Nicol Bolas. See what our opponent wants to do. All right, so they're blocking. Assume a dive down comes. I hope they just hope they don't have anything. There we go. I was gonna say I hope they don't have like another dive down, like for their very last card. That would have been a tilt. <laughs> yeah, that Todd guy is pretty nice. Yeah, I can I can link his Twitch chat. Or sorry, his uh Yeah, thanks yet, I'll I'll tell him. Yeah, thanks. Here we go. Here's his Twitch. So you can go and give him a follow. Shivan Fire was nice there. Driven Fire is really good. Thanks for Tracked. Uh, I do not Pickle Slick. This is not beating Mono Blue's best hands. Um, they kept their 7. Yeah, I would like to move back home. That's my plan for later on in the spring. Um, like late spring, early summer, is to move back to Texas.
No land drop, no land drop. No land, no land. Just let me lava coil this thing. Just let me lava coil this thing. All right. We're still alive. Yeah, I'm a Twins fan. Yep, they're my second favorite team. The Texas Rangers are my favorite team. Um, the, uh, the Twins were my team um, whenever I was younger. Um, but I still, I still like them though. No, not an Astros fan at all. I'm from the Dallas Metroplex, Dallas Metroplex, like where the Rangers are at. So, uh, nope, don't like, don't like the Astros. Those are the rivals. I had Ranger season tickets for two years. Um, oh come on, why can't it be an untapped land? I mean, I want to coil and have negate up. Um, just gotta wait till next turn. We gotta just let them draw another card. And I guess did I have it? Was it just two years? Maybe three years? I guess I had it for three years. Cause I both both years they went to the World Series. I had season tickets. Right, the second year too? No, maybe just the first year. Like right after college, uh, when I, I first started teaching, because yeah, I was a teacher, so I didn't have to work in the didn't have to work in the summer. And so uh, me and a friend of mine just got season tickets and we went to just all the all the home games. Um, just because you know, didn't have to work and so it was it was just so much fun. I taught geometry. That's pretty good. That's a good. That's a good minimum wage. Fifty thousand dollars for teachers. That's that's pretty good. That's more than un That's more than I've ever made in uh, any year of my life. Never made that as a teacher. Um. I think I just kind of want to hold up Negate over playing Nicol Bolas. Because I think Nicol Bolas just gets countered. Um, so we just kind of tap out where I could Negate to maybe counter like another Curious Obsession. Uh, I guess I'm just going to let... Get, I guess that's not very likely. They just have another Curious Obsession. They just have a third. I guess I just get a counter spell out of their hand. Or makes them at least make them have a counter spell. Wow, what do they have? Didn't they miss a land drop before? I feel like they spend a turn not playing a land. Because I spend a turn not playing a land. That's what they have in hand. <laughs> yeah, I taught... Uh, yeah, geometry in 8th grade. That's... Yeah, that's, that's a little bit ahead. Yeah, that's definitely ahead. Um... Do we think they have another deep freeze? I guess I'm just playing this.
This Terramander card is messed up. No, I never I never put magic in it into any of the the lessons, no. Seriously? Stop. Wow. That was clutch. And that's why I put a third ritual set in the deck. Cry of the Carnarium, not good enough. Ritual set, much better. And that's a bingo. <laughs> that was quite good. Thankfully, they didn't have Trickster. Woo! What a close game. <laughs> what a close game. Close game. What a great win. Ah, uh, thanks, thanks for the bits, Jelly. Oh, I was very lucky getting that ritual set. Whew, I need to take a breather after that one. Okay. One and oh. Five oh, here we come. Five wind dreams still alive. I like it. We got Ascanta into Sarkin. Yeah, if you want to see the deck list that we're playing, X H point deck. Looks like mono blue again. So t time to sideboard out every single card that we have in our hands. Okay, no, is it? Is it Drakes? Dun, dun. Yeah, my deck did give me that ritual set as a as a birthday present. That was nice of it. And so this is what Squee does. We get to just discard the Squee. You, I don't need this. Draw a new card. I need this. And we can still cast Squee next turn. That's just good value. Uh, not t not tonight, Radical Guru. It's getting late. You know, already been on for ten hours. Um, not gonna play another league. Uh. Don't doubt my methods. Want to squee or chart a course? So I'm playing on Angrath next turn. Let's chart a course. Good. 
Get us get through some of these lands. The Charter Course does, you know, like that fills our graveyard up a lot more for Ascanta. Yeah, I'll play it. Yeah, so I'll be playing Nia Legends again uh, sometime soon, but just not tonight. I'm glad I didn't just Angrath try to steal the Terramander. I'll show you unhinged. I'm just glad I didn't play the the Angrath at all. Looks like they have shock. Also, a challenge. Be very easy to adapt to this Terramander. This Terramander card, though, is just really, really strong. I'm only human. That's the card that I, I, you know, like I said, I talked about during. Um, during the set review of like, hey, here's a card I'm going to lose to a lot. Um, yeah, we'll transform. If we draw Lava Coil, that'd be perfect. Vile Offering? Okay, not the worst. Um, let me steal this. You're just fuel your crew for my freedom. <laughs> So one more land. If we draw a land, I get to squee plus vile offering. <laughs> I feel like a shock. Shock would not hurt a guy holding a ball of fire, right? I agree. You best start thinking fast. You're on your own. All right, we gotta hope they don't have a counter spell. You know, dive down or dive down or spell pierce. All right, so I can get Terramander. Angrath or Sarkin. I guess I get the Terramander. Because, you know, the Terramander will be able to tussle with the Crackling Drake next turn. Yeah, brick emotes, like, yeah, if we draw a brick, or if we, I really like the brick emote if we're, like, needi needing our opponent to brick, you know, like, we, we're, like, ahead on board, and, like, they're, like, empty-handed, and we're, like, come on, just draw a brick, so we can win. That's my favorite time for the brick emote. Good job, Ascanta. Alright, so Bolus blocks Crackling Drake. See, that's the time we need our opponent to brick. <laughs> Lava Coil off the top? No!
Lava coil off the top. Yeah, because they, they played like that land out, so they only had one card in hand, so we made him discard it. Uh. Alright. Let's take out Karn, Judith. Hmm. Kind of like keeping this. I think I like Squeaks. I think Squeeze is a good enabler for Vile Offering uh, in this matchup. Um. Maybe I shouldn't keep Squee. Do I need all these Angraths? It's probably fine. Yeah. I don't have a peanut emote for nuts draws. Yeah, I was looking at the negates. Negates seem like a, a card that I usually kind of like to play here, but I, I didn't really see anything I necessarily wanted to cut for them. The best things to negate are, are kind of like the things that are basically like dive down and spell pierce. Um, And so it, those those things were trading down mana. Yeah, I guess negating spell pierce doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> I guess I, I meant like their negates. That's what I meant. What madness! <laughs> what madness! All right, hopefully our opponent taps out for <laughs> Crackling Drake. Stop me. I'm hoping they tap out for Crackling Drake here, or tap out for Enigma Drake. Tap out, tap out. Wow. All right, so y'all ready to see good play? So this is what Sarkin does. So we get to discard yes. and grab, draw a card, <laughs> and then Vile Offering, put the Angrath into play, kill the Enigma Drake, and then Angrath. Ever seen water burn? Steal this Enigma Drake. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> Boom. Price. Now you have seen water burn. No fire. No steel. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Chips on sandwiches is the best. We need a fair turn emote. That's that could be a good emote. Oh, look at this. You ready? Surveil, squee to the graveyard, cast squee. Look at that. That just says draw a card. When the Zav enters the battlefield, draw one. Too much value for the opponent. That's a combo right there. Combo deck. Dude, 
Cards. Combo deck. Oh man, that was those are a couple of sweet turns there. Right there. That was awesome. We are we are all in Value Town right now. That is definition of Value Town. <laughs> couple fair turns there. We do need to decide another emo. And do get we do get to do get to go uh, commission another emote now. All right, we're relying on Ascanta with this hand. So fair turn is a good good idea. Um, so ideas so far have been a fair turn emote, um, just Hawkeye in a tie. Um, an extra life emote. We're facing the final boss, get an extra life kind of thing. I don't know if we need that one. Uh, those are basically my three suggestions so far. Oh yeah, a peanut straw for a nut straw. A peanuts emote. Uh, thanks, Mr. P. Thoughtsy's bug emote. That'll be kind of a tough one to to pull off, I think. Uh, thanks, Jelly. I have had a great birthday. Have a good night. Uh, you're welcome, Mass. Uh, don't know exactly what I want to do here. Casting these vile offerings could be pretty difficult. Like the the problem with so like that's the problem with discarding Lazav is like we can like like Lazav is like a card they're probably gonna just ignore, um, which like that's like the strength of Lazav is you know it has the power of suck. It just kind of sits there and it's it's a one three. It's like a card that my opponent doesn't want to use a removal spell on. Where like Nicol Bolas, my opponent definitely wants to use a removal spell on. They discarded Niv Mizzet. They discarded Niv Mizzet. We can dream. Oh man, we can dream. We can dream. No spell pierce one time. No spell pierce one time. No. You think I should have? The thing is, like Yawgmoth's file offering gets a whole lot worse if they use a lava coil, where like entrancing melody won't get worse. So I, I think with having the two vile offerings, I just wanna I think I just wanna go for the upside there. 
uh, because if if we if we play something like Entrancing Melody and they Lava Coil Bolus, then I can't act. I just can't cast these Vile Offerings anymore. So I think just might as well cast it while I can. Okay, do you think, like, is the, is the sounds for, um, are my sounds for, like, uh, like, are my game sounds too loud, do y'all think? All right, Lords likes it the way it is. <sighs> Am I just trying offering again into like a negate? Oh, I didn't even have to shock for this. Oh, because the entrancing melody was the fifth one. I just wasted that. Didn't even need to shock for that. Thanks, Timido. I really hope that two damage doesn't kill me. So I should be at 12. We'll kind of see if that comes back to, to bite me. Alright, yeah, a lot of people saying it's good as is. I mean, I can go grab Niv Mizzet and put Niv Mizzet into play, but. Also, Shaker did some work there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they have negate. With not negating the melody. I mean, they really thought about it for a while. So, like, maybe they do have spell pierce. So I can go for the riskier line of Vile Offering that could get negated, or I can just straight up have Niv put, like I can just activate Niv and go get, um, go get, or sorry, I can activate Nickel Bolas and go get Niv and put Niv into play. I'm going risky line, because, I mean, I'd, it's just riskier of getting Niv Mizzet, but it, it keeps me... It makes sure I have two blockers. It's not like riskier that way. Like I, I, I definitely have two blockers. So 
I, I still have two blockers here. Yeah, cutie pie, that one's on you. You said they don't have negate. <laughs> I never back down from a challenge. Yeah, that two damage is pretty huge. It'd, it'd be nice to be at ten right now instead of eight. Creature plus supercharged energy equals. Wow. Uh, not a card I was expecting them to have. So yeah, Thought Erasure would have been a safer play first. Uh, did not expect them to have that, though. I mean, I guess I need to now. They just have if they just have removal for crackling Drake, I'm dead. Which they would have. They had dispersal. Oh, they can't they can't cast dispersal. They don't have black mana. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye bye. Yeah, I mean I I did not expect did not expect the disdainful stroke. This is really nerve wracking now. This, their card in hand's got to be a blank. We need their card in hand to be a blank. Seriously? Another disdainful stroke. So we would have been able to take care of everything. Because I would have just got Niv Mizzet into play, killed one of their Terramanders, and then I could have Lava Coiled the other Terramander. And with the Niv Mizzet trigger, we would have, we would have killed the other Terramander also. Like, we would have been able to kill both Terramanders there. Um, and then, and you know, be able to have our creatures... At, our creatures could have attacked and killed their thing. Like, if if their hand if their card was a blank, we we were able to just wipe their, their battlefield there. Yeah, we... Yeah, it, I mean, hindsight flipping Bolas that, you know, a long time ago would have, you know, would have worked out better. Um, but like, yeah, like that, yeah, I should have flipped Bolas a, a while ago, you know, in hindsight. That was incorrect move there. Yeah, their deck really did disdain us, didn't it? Don't really know what's going on here. Sarkin only ticks up to four loyalty, though, and they have four power on the battlefield. So I'm just going to get rid of this Poisoner that has Death Touch.
<laughs> yeah, we're a Gates deck. Alright, so we need to draw a red mana source. Um, be able to start playing Niv Mizzets. Good, good choice on the discard there. So the zombie wizards, they pump skeletons and zombies for their ogre warrior and vampire soldier. Yeah, looks like we're playing against a beginner player. No, I'm not going to let them win. Uh, NASCAR, that was fast finance. What? I think they thought that had death touch. Vile no offering still cool though. Can pierce my scales. Madness. <laughs> what madness? This is a turn. All right, bells and locks pretty cool. I should probably let them have bells and lock. Doesn't look kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him have the bells unlocked. Lich in the no artifact deck. Oh, poor opponent. <laughs> squee! Squee! Get out there, Squee. Gotta be on the winning battlefield. Good job, Squee. Way to go, Squee. Squee? More like MV Squee. MV Squee. <laughs> Get along, King Charlemagne. Moral support squee. What you got going on over there, opponent? Choop, murder, prophet. So death touch creatures and a bunch of 
kill your creatures. I'm gonna take the Chupacabra because it's like the two for one. Um, can wait till turn seven. Yeah, I can just wait till turn seven for this. Turn seven, I can play Lazav and then Yogmoth's Vile Offering. It's okay, you can be room for the opponent. It's all good. Uh, why not discard a land? Because, I don't know, I need seven lands for Yogmoss and Lazav, but I guess we do have a good amount of lands, don't we? The other thing is, so... Like, I, I liked the Nickel Bolas being in the graveyard, because I want to get it back with the Yawgmoth's Vile Offering. But I guess we could put it in the graveyard if we just cast it and just let them destroy something. This squeeze is going to do some work. Dun, 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 dun. Man, Squee is going to do so much work. Turn a chart, of course, into a draw two. I wonder how many removal spells we can eat. What if we do nothing? Do you think we can win this game if we do nothing but cast Squee for the rest of the game? <laughs> okay, probably not. Oh, your opponent just has to play like a flyer and then we die. Squeeze back. Guess who's back? Thanks, Airwick. <laughs> Make Lazava copy as we. Oh, exile, exile the squee. Go ahead, exile the squee. Exile squee. Exile squee. No, not my bolus. I want that bolus. play this thing. We need a Clyde emote. <laughs> My opponent's not winning. We have vile offerings. They're gonna do something. Turns out I probably should not have discarded the Nickel Bolas. We have gotten plenty of land since then. Look at Squee holding the fort down. Good job, Squee. Oh, wait. I can't get... Uh, 
Uh, I forgot I, I exiled Twilight Prophet with the Lava Coil. I wanted that Twilight Prophet. Yeah, I wanted that Twilight Prophet. Lazav's pretty good. Is it is Lazav really the worst guild leader card? How are we dead now? We have a squee. We can't lose as long as we have squee. Um, I didn't attack with Squee there because I was leaving it back on defense because we were at 12 and they were at, they were at 20 and we are at 12. So I could have seen them like maybe taking it and like swinging back and stuff like that. So I was ba basically having Squee as like the ultimate defender where they couldn't attack through. Dang, steals one damage to any target. Dude, what if they had like the status? Gave a death touch. Well chosen. Well chosen. I <laughs> should have targeted Squee. <laughs> they gave me the lava coil. Oh, good about it. I like this. Go ahead and speed this up a little bit, please. <laughs> I guess we could make Lazav a copy of Lazav, I guess. Should I try making Lazav a copy of Lazav? have Lazav the Multifarious look like that. See, it does say targeted Lazav, targeted Judith, copy of Judith. Alright, two and one. Wasn't the hardest of matches there. Squee, too strong. Poor Clyde. Clyde put up a good fight. <sighs> Stay strong, Clyde. You got this. Alright, Greg.
When Squee getting banned? Probably like the next, uh, the next ban and restricted announcement. You really have to watch out for Squee. Okay, these are good cards. Well, this Demon of Catastrophes is going to be a problem. You know, we, we have weathered everything else. Just have to deal with this Demon of, of Catastrophes. Um, we're gonna need to, we kind of need to draw a Planeswalker. Thanks, Planeswalker Academy. I guess our opponent was red-black. I probably should have taken this demon. Lazav. I don't really expect our opponent to kill this Lazav. If they do, I'm kind of in trouble. I don't think they're just going to sacrifice their demon and their priest just to kill Lazav. I didn't mean to attack with, with Lazav. I meant to only attack with the 1-1 the one -one there. Okay, that's to cast it. Yeah, Yawgmoth's Vile Offering is a, is a really good card. That's what our deck's built around is, is that card. Alright, if our opponent draws a brick here, we have a win in the air. Good job, Lazav. 
See, that's why we have Lazav. Without Lazav, we would we'd not have been able to cast those Vile Offerings. Alright, I definitely like Melody and Soot and Shivan Fire and Hostage Taker. Uh, kind of all those things. So we are going to uh, Trim Vile Offering. Um, take out Karn. Trim Sarkin. Um, yeah, so many subs today. So many gifted subs. It's been just a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Um, get rid of one Ascanta. All right, here we go. How many plans that Nicol Bolas is actually a god? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what your question. I don't understand your question. Probably which planes? Um, Yeah, so how many planes does Nickel think the Nickel Bulls is a god? I don't I don't know if there's really many. Or like I don't I don't know if that's the right thought process there. With you know, cause cause it because Bullis is just a planeswalker. I don't like I just don't know if he's considered a god. Um there we are, I can put put that over there. There's Hawkeye back there. Demonic Fire Lord getting the gifted sub from TJ Polly B. Santa DJ gifting some more subs. Thank you so much. Demonic Fire Lord, hope you get those hype votes in the channel. Enjoy those emotes. Yeah, Almond Cat, I guess, is the big one. So we're already planning. Oh, hoi kanoi! Get the bits for Clyde. Thanks, hoi kanoi. Um. Know you of dragons. I'll show you unhinged. So we can get rid of the land because it's not a, a third red source for Nicol Bolas. Um, and like, and I'll help like as Kanta flip. Yeah, I wish Clyde was the final boss.
Yeah, we are all Clyde. I summon you! Yep, that's right, Nicobolus. Oh, sorry, Nip Visit. Dang it. That's right, Nip Visit. We summon you. Alright, take the other tube. Kill this tube. Cycle a couple cards with Nimbus on the battlefield. And there we go. Alright, GG. Three and one for Grixis Legends. Easy peasy. We just had to do that reset of the league. Poor Greg. Easy peasy, Clyde squeezy. And I feel bad for Clyde. Alright, what do we got? New game. Oh, we get Squee. Love it. Oh, that's my, this is my friend G and Luca they were playing against. Just got a text from him. The, the payoff for a legend sy synergy is Yogmoss file offering. That is our payoff. All right, Rakdos burn. Let's keep the Sarkin on top. Burn, Burn's kind of tough for us because, you know, we can't really stop Burn spells. Good thing... Do you? I don't good thing G and Luca's this. hand is not I very good. This. And Squeeze perfect. We get to discard Squee, draw a new card. Um... Card a lava coil. All right, chart a course. Uh, there we go. Softball wolf getting that sub. Thanks, uh, FM Cita. There we go. I know softball wolf was trying to get that sub earlier. Thanks, Santa Cita. That's sub number 109, 45, more till the next 12-hour stream. We already owe two 12-hour streams, so we're going to be doing one on Bolus Thursday. told me I should do this.
And, um... <laughs> yep, you got the cat foot. <laughs> uh, Orzhov Afterlife? Um, I played Orzhov decks, but not maybe not necessarily an Afterlife deck. Alright, we need the negates against Burn. This is going to be tough to win two other games, honestly, against Burn. His hand just, you know, was really bad there. No, Ixalan's Binding doesn't work on Squee. Nothing works on Squee. Oh, wait. It does work on Squee. Never mind. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, so he, out of his 13 cards, he drew 9 lands. That's really bad. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I think we kind of have to treat this like mono blue and just kind of get rid of our Thiefus Sandies, our Karns, our Sarkin. Kind of debating on how much removal I actually want, though. If I actually want Ritual of Set and stuff. I may not want that much removal. We just have a, another sub. Awkward Ninjas with the sub. I almost missed that. Thank you so much, Awkward Ninjas. Ninjas. Love it. Already getting good use out of the emotes. Blue mana. Alright. So sub 110. That means it's going to be pack time yet again. Forty-four. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another poll for what pack should we open up uh, after this? Yeah, softball wolf. All right, sixty-second poll. Um, vote for M19, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, or Ixalan. R-I-X and X-L-N for those two sets. So, get to going. What set do you want to see? I just want to keep my life total high. We got mono bolluses. Dominaria winning the poll. Well, I will take that. No, I think I think that was like the case before. Like uh binding used to not work on Squee. But I think they changed that. I, 
So I think it should work now. I know this is not a good trade, but I don't want to take damage. I want to have a blocker. We get to attack for four and have a blocker. Never not bolusing. Just infinite boluses. Isn't death amusing? I'm not finished with you. Chain these forever. My power is boundless. The dead shall serve me. We can do this all day. Attack for four. Flip, get a new bolus. And now, now's the time for Niv. Draw two. My knowledge is endless. Two triggers. Start a course. Oh, discard a card. There we go. GG's. Okay, we are at the final boss. Here we go, going for the first five win of the day. Yeah, bol bolus into more boluses. Just can't ever kill him. Oh! Did I cancel in time? No, I did not. I forgot about the, the Dominaria pack again. I was so focused on this final boss time. Ooh, we get Judith. We get... The nice Lazava to Judith curve. Uh, facing red. So our loss earlier. Mono red is is our worst, our worst matchup. Just don't have, you know, we just don't have the ability to, to keep up. Can't finish the games off fast enough before they draw enough burn spells to kill us. Yeah, this is worse than mono blue. Yeah, I like our mono blue matchup more. They're a lot slower. 
Uh, kind of like we have like flyers, like Nicol Bolas, that, that block like their flyers and stuff. And we we can bring in more removal. We we can have like enough removal for creatures, but it's the the burn spells are are a huge problem. Thanks, Dark Darkhawk. Yeah, the it's been a wonderful birthday today. So considering just hitting the Steamkin, because this is the problem, if I go Firebrand, oh, okay. I was going to say if I go Firebrand, then they just hit my Lazav, and then I can't block with Steamkin, but okay, they just had another red spell, so I'm glad I, um, glad I did it that way. Removal spell, please. Lava Coil. Lava Coil one time. Thank you. Boom. Get that out of here. Now we don't have to shock. That's very nice for us. Well, they just have... They just have creatures. We can handle just creatures. Yeah, we can handle just creatures. Hey, Darkhawk, getting the gifted sub from Gatsby. Santa Gatsby, thank you so much. Thanks, Hot Outside. Sub 111. Down to 43 here. I can put I don't have great things to get back right now. Who are you to call me mad? Don't doubt my methods. <laughs> Ugh. We're just cycling through some vial offerings. I'm basically looking for Niv-Mizzet. Niv-Mizzet's like the card that uh, can, can really help me win here. That's the one we're looking for. Yeah, I could have cast the Vile Offering the last turn and kind of gotten it, you know, gotten like the Firebrand and everything, but, um, I wanted to kind of cycle through the deck looking for a Niv-Mizzet. Uh-oh. Frenzy. Frenzy's an uh-oh.
Yeah, 43 subs till the third 12-hour stream. Um, so we're definitely doing one on Thursday. Okay, I haven't, I haven't, so Thursday is going to be the next 12-hour stream. But then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, those are, it's the, the next Pro Tour. Is this this upcoming weekend on those days? So probably next Monday would be the next one. So I'm, I'm thinking Thursday and Monday for our next two 12-hour streams. We have, we have gone through and... Um, gone through and gotten two 12-hour streams today. So I think kind of as long as we untap, we're going to be doing kind of okay here. I don't know if I need to attack with the Nicol Bolas or not. I think I... I, like, I have lethal, like, I have lethal next turn anyway, so it's like, the 4 damage doesn't matter. I can attack for 15 pretty easily next turn. <laughs> Don't stop now! Impossible! Alright, let's get uh, two Niv Mizzets on the battlefield. Yeah. Double Niv. Oh yeah, the lack of GP coverage uh, is is horrible. I I don't like it at all. Um, yeah, I mean, especially as like a player, like you know, you want you really want the coverage and everything. You know, that's. Maybe I just treat this like mono blue. Yeah, Niv's legendary, but one was called Lazav the Multifarious. So one was named Lazav the Multifarious. The other one was named Niv Mizzet Perun. So we got to have both of them. So for actually like Angrath here... Maybe not the hostage takers. I don't know, hostage taker can be nice. Um, maybe not thief. Let's go with this. All right, we got game one against the final boss. Can we get lucky enough to get one of these next two? We did draw that clutch lava coil in there. Um, I think GPs are kind of differently priced, uh, but they're they're really expensive. They're like I don't know, like seventy five bucks. It's A little ridiculous. All right, get Steamkin out of here. That's step number one to winning. Always kill Steamkin. All right, well, I cannot kill this Steamkin. So I'm going to go for... I mean, I guess I'm just going to take a hit here. We have Ritual of Sit next turn. I mean, I can Entrancing Melody the Lava Runner, but that's only saving like one to maybe two points of damage. 
Um, we'll just have ritual of sex. Uh oh. I have a coil. Phoenix is a good card. Doesn't use our mana very well to just lava coil here and do nothing else. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna take her the Phoenix, which is just like coiling the Phoenix, basically. Like the Phoenix is not gonna deal damage to it this turn, and then yeah, the hostage taker definitely eats a burn spell, so it saves us life. Um, that thing have haste? Good. And now I still get to coil the phoenix and sit away these things. So it's basically like I killed the phoenix for the turn. Traded hostage taker for um, some life there. Niv-Mizzet, where you at? We need a Niv-Mizzet or Nicobolus, something. Something to turn the corner. We tried. We tried. We even had like double ritual set and everything. No, attacking was definitely not wrong there. We can't sit back forever because they just have to draw like a couple burn spells. We have to get damage in. Um, no, attacking was certainly not wrong there. Like, we weren't. You know, like, the longer the game goes, basically the better for them, with us being at two. It's a real slow clock with the two damage, you have to start attacking. We just had to. Alright, blue mana, please. Keeping this because of the lava coil. I like the lava coil. Oh, I would attack every single time there. I would never not attack there. We can't play scared when we're at two life like that. We have the negate for spells. Wow, we did not draw blue mana. This has been an unfortunate situation.
Blue mana. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Come on, deck. So I have 16 blue sources. We're going to lose to the final boss like this. Yeah, this is a feel bad. Another risk factor in hand? That's a good hand for the opponent. Triple risk factor. Whenever we can't we can't play anything. That's a good hand. I'm really glad our opponent played the the mare there and didn't just cast a risk factor. Thanks, Varkister. Problem with Auto Razor here is like those cards don't. What those cards actually are don't matter a whole lot, um, considering they just get to discard them for risk factor. You guys just cast that thought erasure there. Just to surveil. We just got stuck on ha not having blue mana for just too long. Just too long. Man. So close. Triple risk factor got us. So close, we almost beat Mono, Mono Red, which is our worst matchup. You know, we almost beat that. Um, so, I 
I like how I like the uh, I like this new sideboard. I liked the Shivan fires and the the more ritual of sets. I think that really helped out against mono blue. Um, so I think we have like pretty good game there. I think mono red is probably our worst matchup. Um, but we did we did kind of okay there. Yeah, this deck was pretty fun. I liked the like kind of everything. I liked our our sideboard and everything. Yeah, this deck was fun. This was good. So. Um, yeah, this is a good one. So if you are watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, give Grixis Legends a try. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.